Hello everyone, it's me Nato here, and we are back with another Dokkan video. So the Tech Kel and Kalifla banner has just dropped on the JP version of Dokkan Battle. And we're gonna take a look at the banner. We're gonna review it basically. I'll let you guys know what my initial thoughts on the banner. And we'll do a couple of summons here. So I have around 207 stones, of course. <clears throat> I'm not sure how deep I'm gonna go into this banner specifically. Right now I almost died. <laughs> But let's go ahead and take a look. <clears throat> so, first and foremost, we obviously have the new tech, Kale and Kalivla, that transform into Kefla. I think they're pretty good so far. I really do like their leader skill. Their leader skill is very powerful. It has basically like all the Gokus, all the Krillins, Kale Kaliflas, Goten and Trunks. It's a pretty strong team with rapid growth on top of that. So you have other units like STR Super Vegeta, Tech Ultimate Gohan added to this team. And it's, you know, um... 130% HP attack and defense 170% It's pretty good. Obviously, I, that's my preferred split. They're an attack and defense stacker. They take some time to build up. They're definitely a long event type of unit. So if you need help beating, like, say, the legendary Vegeta events or stuff like that, these are definitely very good units to pick up. I just don't know for sure if, like, they're necessarily, like, you know, if, if you're summoning for this unit versus Super Vegeta, I think Super Vegeta is definitely the better unit, though. So, say if they're the only unit you could really use on the banner, I'm not sure if they're really necessarily worth going for, but they're still a fun unit. Ims Kaba. I think he's good. I don't really think he's, like, up to par with other recent banner units. If he, <laughs> if he wasn't, like, a Universal Survival Saga support unit, honestly, he would be kind of mid, to be honest. But because he is a Universal Survival Saga support unit, I think he's at least pretty good in that regard. Um, he's a solid unit though, and you know, if you're able to get him set up, he can put up some pretty decent attack stats. And he does have a unit super attack with Vegeta, where he will be able to stack defense, so that's pretty cool. Now, STR Videl. This is the first time STR Videl does return back on a banner. Obviously, everyone knows how oppressive STR Videl is. As time passes on though, I personally have soured upon her. Though she still is a very, very good unit, and if you set her up correctly, she'll be disgusting. I feel like her links and her category teams are kind of what really holds this unit back a lot, obviously. And I just don't really feel like I use her that much unless I go specifically out of my way to do so. Well, as other units like Super Vegeta, he meshes well on all of his teams and stuff like that. Um, is what I would say. But you know, her leader skill is obviously very good. 4 King, 170% across the board. And she's very powerful, so this is the first time returning. I'd say it's definitely worth grabbing her. In Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, I kind of share this guy a lot, to be honest. But I think he's still a very, very good unit. I think with this new account, Khalifa, he's personally not on my top 10 TURs anymore. But he's still very powerful, amazing for Super Battle Road content. If you get his active skill off, he can majorly debuff the enemy. Uh, his leader skill is getting better by, like, like with each release that kind of comes out, I feel like. Especially, like, even on Global right now, we got this giant ape, um... Extreme, uh, Extreme Z battle with, you know, the three Vegeta, Kid Goku, and Raditz. So, I don't know. And Heroes, this guy can get a lot of buffs with his, uh, actual leader skill. So, it's better to keep out on that. I think this is the third or fourth time this guy returns, though. So, we're starting to return a lot, obviously. Same with Tech, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. So, keep in mind, this guy will probably be on a lot of banners upcoming. And Star Kefla. She's honestly not that great anymore. Even, like, in her Super Saiyan 2 form, she's not, like, you know that fantastic but she is a very good partner for the new tech Ke kefla so it's worth getting her but she's been featured a lot she's kind of old at this point i don't know she's kind of meh tech hit i don't even have to explain it's not really that great he can be usable if you get lucky in super bad road settings but that's really it i don't know he's just age at this point he needs an easy a because he has no defense lol um again i don't think this guy is obviously as bad as people really make him out to be but I personally don't really like the unit. I feel like he doesn't necessarily need an easy A, but he just, if he gets an easy A, I wouldn't really be like, you know, surprised about it. And the last two SRs, so yeah, I mean, that's basically the banner. Let me know what you guys think. Um, From here on out, we're going to go ahead and do some summons. So yeah, let's see what we get on the first multi here. Maybe it's Goku Black Ray first multi. Oh my God. <laughs> you. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is, earlier today, I was talking in a Dokkan group chat, and I was like, I'm gonna not do a multi in the freezer banner, because I feel like I might get these guys first multi. 
I don't know, I felt that luck earlier today. And they're Super Saiyan God! No way. No way. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, ain't, uh, AJ will go to Frieza. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see. Where are they at? Just, just show me them. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> First multi. Oh, boy. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty good, I feel like. Um, yeah, they're... Obviously, I'm glad to get them. A lot of SSRs in this multi already. Okay. Uh, obviously, I'm very happy to get them. Um, <laughs> I'm summoning for them, so I want them, of course. So, I'm definitely going to do a 55% showcase of them. Uh, probably get their links to like 5, 6 level is what I usually do on my own 55% showcases. But, um, yeah, I mean, this... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I was like, I thought I was going to get the first multi. I had that feeling. But it's like, ah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> sure, we'll take that for sure. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you have to use Kai's in these guys as well. So if you don't really have too many Kai's, it might not be the best to summon here. I'll go ahead and do one or two more multis, and then we'll probably go ahead and finish up. We're doing pretty good, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I don't about this unit specifically. Me personally, I don't really care about getting dupes for this unit i feel like they're not really a unit that really needs dupes based on what they want to do oh the it's comma too what is a summon what is this video what hello <laughs> what is going on my luck is going crazy what is this what i don't Oh, no, that's that. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought that was the LR. I was like, what the hell is happening? But no, it's not, obviously not the LR. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty good, don't you guys think? Um, Well, go ahead. This is the last one I'm going to do. I'm going to save the extra 50 stones for, like, stamina refreshes and stuff, I feel like. You know, for my link leveling and stuff like that. This looks like to be a dud multi, though. Um... But yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys think, how your guys are summon went on this banner. If you did actually go ahead and summon Super Saiyan God, maybe? No. Yeah, I haven't got Super Saiyan God in a while. Only in that last, uh, first multi of the video, obviously. I don't think I'm going to get anything else here, though. I think I pretty much used up my luck. Tech hit, I guess, you know. I can't really use tech hit, obviously, but, um, I guess like, another inch combo. This is like, uh, what? The, the luck's going too strong. I can't stop here. I'm, I'm going to do this something multi. I'm like so confused. <laughs> Two in commas, huh? Um, okay. I might as well go one more. Uh, this is obviously going to be the last one no matter what I get here, though. Yeah, these are... <laughs> these are pretty good summons, I feel like. Um, yeah, I, I haven't gotten this lucky in a Dokkan Fist banner in quite some time. I would have been only more crazy if I got multiple copies in Rebrian. Okay. Yeah, um, if, <laughs> I mean, I personally did really well with this banner. If you guys want to summon Asa, you know, just why not go for it? Um, the batter's pretty solid, honestly. Look, we're gonna just take a look at it. If I had to say, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're s okay, I guess you could say. And it's like, these two are kind of sour. But I feel like at least this guy is somewhat usable if you use a strap properly. And these two are like, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like the first four units are definitely warrant summoning, so. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching until the end, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.